Hey, what's up everybody? Let's do a quick Lewis structure practice, this time by focusing on some of those exceptions. All right, we're gonna work with BEH2. Step one, determine total number of valence electrons in the molecule contributed from each element. Beryllium's gonna have two valence electrons, hydrogen's gonna have one. I've got one atom of beryllium contributing two valence electrons total, and two atoms of hydrogen, each contributing one valence electron, for a total of two contributed to the entire molecule. In total, my number of valence electrons here, four. Step two, determine the total number of valence electron pairs. Just take your total number of valence electrons, divide by two, I've got two pairs of valence electrons. Step three, as we build our skeletal structure, remember that we are gonna choose the less electronegative element first. Again, you can go to your periodic table, but in an example like this, where we've got hydrogen, recognize that hydrogen is never gonna be central. So I put beryllium in the middle and surround it by my two hydrogens. I place a pair of electrons in between that central atom and each of the terminal atoms. It's gonna take me two pairs of electrons to do that. I have zero pairs left. I get to step five, and here's where I usually check to make sure all of my atoms follow the octet rule. Here's also where in examples like this, students make a lot of mistakes. They like to give beryllium an octet, but remember, beryllium only had two valence electrons to come in with. And so beryllium is one of our exceptions, and it will only have four valence electrons total. So even though it may hurt your heart a little bit, recognize that this is the correct Lewis structure. It's an exception. Beryllium will only have four, hydrogen will have two. And then lastly, recognize those bonded pairs of electrons can always be represented by a dash for each pair of electrons being shared. 